This video is a follow-up to our previous lighting tutorial with Daniel Diarco. In this video, he'll show you three techniques that you can pull out when in doubt. Pull out when in doubt sounds kind of sexual. My parents watch this. This video is a follow-up to our previous lighting tutorial with photographer Daniel Diarco. In this tutorial, he'll show you three lighting techniques that you can whip out when in doubt. Let's get started. That you can whip out. First, we want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring our channel. You might have already heard, but in case you're new around here, they are perfect for blogs, portfolios, online stores, or whatever. They have beautiful designer templates, award-winning 24-7 customer support, and it's an all-in-one platform that's so easy to use, practically anyone can do it. We've used it for three of our websites for the last several years and love it. To get started with your website, save 10%, and support our channel, visit squarespace.com slash mangostreet and use the code mangostreet at checkout. For the first look, we're going to maintain the highlights while still getting enough fill light on the subject. Typically, when you brighten up a dark foreground, you risk blowing out the background in the process. Ow! I had a 5-in-1 reflector in front of the model, camera right. It was turned to the gold side to match the sun's warm color temperature and it was bouncing light from my strobe. The reason I'm bouncing light from the strobe instead of the sunset is because it leaves me the flexibility of raising or lowering the foreground exposure if needed. Available sunlight only has one power level. Sunsets can also act as a nice indirect hair light. Here I have Daniel sitting in front of a building and angled myself just right so that the sunset's reflection appeared in the window right behind him. By adding my five foot strip softbox in front of him, I was able to achieve images that showed the building while getting a majestic hair light behind him and a fill light in front. I used a strip softbox because I like the contrast it gives, but this can be whatever modifier you prefer. Last but not least, this is a handy trick that I use when I miss the golden hour by just a few minutes. With the sunset just beyond the horizon, you can place your strobe 10 to 20 feet behind your model and have it face towards the subject. I use a small reflector to replicate the hard sunlight and a CTO gel to warm up the light. Crop it so the flash is just out of frame and this extends the sunset by about 15 minutes. Knowing this technique will save the day for engagements, portraits, and on location shoots in general. Other Daniel here for a recap. Use a strobe and reflector as a fill light on your subject to avoid blowing out your background. Look for sun reflecting off buildings to provide a hair light and use your favorite strobe and modifier as a fill light. Use a blocked or just out of frame strobe to fake a sunset. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more of Daniel's work, check him out on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next week. Can we all whip out? <laughs> Diarco Diamond and... Right. The Diarco Diamond. <laughs>